Okay, so I can counter the shoulder cross sweep, just here there, Simon, mm -hmm. by tripoding up. So from a passing perspective, <clears throat> any time we're playing the game, he pulls me forward, comes up, double underhooks, and gets that shoulder around his position. He's strong with his back is off the mat. Okay, from my passing perspective, I'm going to be pushing forward to get his back on the mat, and then I'm going to be tripoding up. I'll be walking forward to get my hips past his hips, and once I get them up, I can now make a post with the hand, back kick back and shell, and start moving into super chill position. I'll just get another angle on that, bro. Anytime you're passing butterfly guard, it's always advantageous for the passer to put their per the person's back on the mat. It means they're more immobile and um, there's less things they can do. So once he starts pulling me forward, hits the shoulder wrench on, I'm immediately pushing forward and getting my tripod up. From that position now, I find the knee, back kick, back shelf, and look to get inside, some kind of inside um, arm control and head control, either into a scarf fold or super chill position. <clears throat> Let's look at how to um, counter that, just with using our butterfly hook on a day. Post on the leg, we can take that leg out as well. So from our position, say we're here, they went for the underhook, they went to push this in, um, Simon countered it, I went straight into my shoulder wrench. Again, before I get into my whole position, he counters it by tripoding up to this position here. So again, I'm going to use that hook and the elbow. I know he wants to um, push, um, let's just sit up one second. I know he wants to push this knee in and back step out with this leg. So before that happens, I'm using my elbow and I'm looking over. Sorry, I'm out. Again, from there, just move back this way a little bit, bro. Once I get to here, there's an open elbow. But if I don't control Simon's head, he's putting his elbow back to his body. So once I get to here, we make head and arm pull it back now. And now I can start to work the arm bar. Okay. So the minute we sweep, we want to go straight for the submission. Um, again, just from your knees, perfect. So maybe we're here, just turn this way around. Getting nothing. Elbow control, pull into double unders, kick him up, and then he went straight into that shoulder wrench. He puts my back on the mat and tripods up. Immediately from here, I'm using my elbow to turn him, and then I use the hook to sweep. Control the head, swim up. We have Juji. A response that Simon can make is. When I go to sweep him, he can hop on that leg. We covered it just from your basic butterfly guard sweep. I'll just make a wedge with the sole of my foot and just continue on with the momentum of the sweep to take him over. So again, pulling him forward, winning double unders, taking him back. He flattens me out. Tripods up. I want, I want my, my knees and my chest. If my hooks aren't active, he can just back kick around them. So as I start to go for the sweep, this way, he's hopping on my leg, and then I just take it away. And now from here, control the head, set up, and we're back into the arm bar. One more time with that, bro. <coughs> so, keep him up. Shoulder wrench, she puts me down, tripods up. I start using that elbow to turn him. And then I use the hook, if he starts to hop, I just take that leg from underneath him. So, um, just another variation. Instead of using the knee push, we use the butterfly hook. Or if he hops on the supporting leg, we just make a wedge with the other leg and continue the movement. <laughs>